Hi everyone and welcome back to the channel. Well, I've not done a studio video for quite a while, but I had to for this particular one. As you've seen all over the internet, DJI has just released the all new DJI Neo. And I thought, shall I get one? Shall I? So I have put my hand in my pocket. Uh, 169 quid, I I'm like, wow. And I thought you can join me on the unboxing because this is an absolute bargain. Now this is the DJI Fly More Combo. So it was a little bit more than 169 quid, more like 300, but only because I wanted to try out the, the controllers and see what else you get with it, like the extra batteries and things like that. And I think you can still get a couple of blades, spare uh, rotor blades and things like that. So without further ado, Let's have a look inside. I was so tempted yesterday when this arrived, but I've not even broken the seal. So I do care about you all. And uh, let's have a look inside. I'm gonna be doing some thorough tests of this out in the field, and we'll just see how, how far we can take it and compare it to the trusty Mini 3 Pro that I've got here. I have held back with this to get the Mini 4 Pro because I didn't see enough changes um, in between the two models because I mainly fly with the opt obstacle avoidance off rather than on and that was the main difference between the two drones but when the Mini 5 Pro does come out I will be getting that one so let's have a look inside the box of the DJI Neo for those of you that's already watched one or two of these I apologize but to some people it's probably the first time they've seen one but I can't wait because it's such a small drone and I, I just can't get my head around it that people can get into droning for the first time from as little as 169 quid it's a bit of a no-brainer if you like the hobby and it gives you you an easy way in to try it out or test it anyway at least so let's have a look in the box so here goes so first of all we are going to break the seal reminds me of Apple Apple do something like that don't they and let's have a look inside so this is like I said this is the the combo model so it does come with a controller so you can use it as an ordinary drone I say ordinary it's nothing ordinary ordinary about it but you can use it like I've used to use it. Uh, so let's have a look. Um, but I'll also have some buttons on top so you can click follow me or um, rotate. Um, and you can even, uh, one of the buttons, you can actually allocate a particular move to it. So you don't always have to have the controller with you. And you can even operate it on the DJI Fly app as well. I have looked at that. You'll probably see in the background that I've actually ordered the DJI Mic 2. Don't know if you can see that. Um, so I've ordered that with this particular drone because I wanted to see how good the sound quality was using the DJI Fly app and the DJI Neo because apparently using the two, what it will do is block out the noise of the rotor blades. And I think that's a really, really good thing to do. Um, so let's see inside here. I'm assuming this is the, yeah, so that's the battery charger. So there's two batteries in here and I'm assuming that the third one is already in the drone. Because it's such a lightweight drone, the, the actual battery forms part of the drone. So. This particular one's a little bit different to the Fly More kit on my DJI Mini 3 Pro because instead of, it used to charge one, then two, then three batteries once, one at a time. But this particular one, if you're using a powerful enough charger, it will actually charge all three at once. I believe it's got to be a 60 watt charger. And if it's a lower wattage, say 30, it might do two. And if it's less than that, then just the one at a, one at a time. So there we go. So we've got that. Let's see what else is inside here. And uh, we've got the, oh, that's quite nice. It's got the screwdriver to, to replace the blades. Now I'm squinting because I've not got my glasses on, but let's have a look. That looks like the Apple version of the cable and with the lightning to USB-C and this is USB-C to C. I wasn't 100% sure because on the box and all the website of DJI, it doesn't actually show that it came with both cables. So I did actually 
or uh, on Amazon a USB-C to lightning connector just in case. So I've just probably wasted four quid <laughs> for no reason, but I've got it as a backup, I suppose, anyway. So well done to DJI for actually including both cables because if you look on the images on their website, it does only show you the one cable. So I'll give them a pat on the back for that. So what, we've, what else have we got in here? Obviously there's gonna be the controller. So let's do that one. So there we go. Just, just have some weight to that actually. It feels a good quality controller. The controller that I've got on my Mini 3 Pro and the ones that you've seen on the DJI Mini 4 Pro tend to have a screen, but this particular one, you can actually expand it. This expands and then you can attach your phone to the top and then that cable will plug in inside there and onto the bottom of your phone. So that does look a nice unit actually. It's rechargeable. Um, those are the sticks there so I'll have, to, I'll have to have a go at that um, subtly different to my current one um, still got the wheel to operate the gimbal I'll have to have a mess around with the settings and then that button there looks to me as though you can switch it from video mode to photograph mode so there you go show you on both cameras hopefully the auto focus is kicking in but that's it feels like a nice controller does that let's have a look at what else there is there won't be an awful lot in this box oops so those are the extra replacement blades. There we go. So there's two there and they look <laughs> so dinky. Compa I used to think that the Mini 3 Pro and the Mini 4 Pro blades were small, but just look at the difference. <laughs> really tiny, absolutely tiny of those. Uh, this is gonna feel like a much bigger dr hefty drone when I start to fly that after this. And we've got the booklet here instructions i'll probably be a typical bloke and not, <laughs> not read them uh no i will do i will do oh my word this feels like a toy i've got to keep pinching myself and remembering that you can get this from 169 pounds here in the uk and there you have it wow that is so small look at that it looks massive on the screen compared to me it's bigger than my head but actually if i put it to the side of my head you can see it is tiny and then if i hold the mini 3 pro i'll get my hands underneath actually so if i hold that to the mini 3 pro you can see the difference in size i'd say it's about the same length as the body um, just a little bit wider but the actual body itself is tiny in comparison absolutely tiny um, but the reason i wanted to try this out is a it'd be my first introduction into fpv because you can fly this with fpv but on the top of the drone there are some preset buttons i don't know if you can see that and there as well and i like the fact that you don't always have to switch a controller on or have the app on and you can just take a few shots so it'd be quite nice on my little mini adventures it'd be like having my own little camera buddy with me and hopefully it can go to places that i wouldn't normally risk the other drone in and things like that but i do like that it comes with these prop guards on the actual drone itself and they are removable but the whole rings protection rings around the blades themselves are permanently fixed to the body and it does feel quite a durable quite a durable drone actually if i'm honest with you um, and that must just pop off to access the yeah to access the gimbal but wow this is so tiny um, i will be going out over the next couple of days with this and i'd just like to thank you for watching this video it's going to be a short one this because there's only so much i can show you because i need to just get my head around all the uh, operation and things but it does look really user friendly and yeah I, I think this is a good good purchase hopefully i'll get some good use out of it and i'll enjoy sharing it but I, i'd certainly want to do an endurance test just to see how far i can actually push this um and i don't mean like distance i just mean how what can you use this for and justify the 100 and 169 quid i mean that is an absolute steal isn't it it really really is but this is the fly market so just bear in mind that for 169 pounds you'll just get this and a charge cable and one battery um, but i just wanted to get the the, the full kit because this is what i'm used to using a, a controller and it'd be nice to see if i can adapt and get to the point of using this without that that will be good so on another note i just want to say a massive thank you to roger 
and you're thinking, who the hell's Roger? Well, Roger kindly sent in this. Uh, I, I, th this is actually one of the first things I've had. I've had a coffee mug sent to me before that he keeps your coffee warm. But he sent me this, uh, a flying UFO. So uh, hopefully it's in focus. Um, and it does, it does look like you've got a remote control in there. Um, it's probably quite basic operation, but I'll have a bit of fun with this. So I'll do an unboxing in a future video of this. And I've got some batteries here and I'll have a go but yeah thank you thank you ever so much Roger for sending this in it was really really nice of you um I, I love this I mean I don't expect anybody to send anything but thank you ever so much I, I'll have a bit of fun with that it reminds me of the type of products you see in the gadget shops and things like that but uh, I don't think it'll have very good wind resistance the DJI Mini 3 does actually have wind resistance level 5 this particular one's level 4 so hopefully, I know it's not going to be exactly as capable, but I'm going to have a lot of fun. So thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll see you on the next one where I'll be taking the DJI Neo out for a test run. Take care. Bye for now.